is? Well, I looked in Alice's diary and I know I shouldn't have because it's really, really bad, but if I have one, I'm sure she'd look in it. Well, no, actually, she wouldn't. Someone like, like, like Callum would. When I looked at it, it said the most scary thing imaginable. Well, I say said... She didn't actually say anything, and that's the problem. If she'd just come out with it, then I'd know what the hell was going on. What on earth's the matter, my little ice gem? She's keeping a secret from me, a really big one. Bigger than this block of flats. No, actually, bigger than Cosmos. And I know it's bigger, why she wouldn't be keeping it from me. You don't know what this secret is? I'm not sure if she wants to be my best friend anymore. Oh, dear. That is serious. Are you not certain, though? No, but I'm going to find out. I have a plan. I'm going to work on her mum. If Alice has gone off of me, I think Karen won't be able to shut up about it. Could I take this one, please? Gemma? Hi, it's Karen. I'm not your auntie. I'm not her auntie. Um. What are you doing here? Gemma, it's a shop. What do you think I'm doing? Playing snooker? Um... What are you doing here? I'm trying to buy a Christmas present for Callum. Did he specifically ask for a matching bra and pants set? Yes. Now I'm very worried about him. Mm. Thank you, then. That's very sweet. How do I look? I'm um, ridiculous. How's Alice? I've got to get a move on. Say hello to your mum. Got any secrets to tell me? Whoa! Do you think you'll have to go to prison? Nah, they believed me when I said it was only a mistake. <laughs> what are you doing there, anyway? You hate shopping, Jim. Oh, I've really got into it lately. You're lying. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying, unlike someone. I'm not lying about anything. No. No. I'm just... Well, well, there's something I haven't told you yet, that's all. What? What's the big secret? How do you know I've got a secret? <sighs> OK, I know it's a totally sneaky thing to do. Yeah. And you probably won't want to be my best friend anymore, but... Oh. What? I read your diary. Oh, Gemma. I've never done it before, maybe once or twice, but you've only ever written nice things about me. You've never had a big secret. Gemma, you're burbling. I do still want to be your best friend. But... But what? I promised Mum I wouldn't tell anyone. Not even you. See, the thing is... We're moving. You're what? We're moving house next week. Is that it? I've been imagining all sorts of things. But if you're just moving to the other side of town, I could get my granddad to give me a lift in this nice big posh car. That'll no. impress the neighbours. Gemma, it's not good news. It is. It means we can still be best friends. <laughs> I'm moving to Scotland. Scotland? 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 But Scotland... Scotland's hundreds of miles away! I know. I'm really sorry, Gemma. Gemma, I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm not going to see you. I know. Just awful. But why? Why are you going? Because Mum's got a new boyfriend off the internet. And she's moving in with him. And he lives in Scotland. His name's Fergus. And apparently, we're going to live in this big, posh house with a pony. But I think the pony will live outside. Why didn't you tell me? Well, because it wasn't definite. I mean, Mum's been umming and ahhing about this Fergus. And she hasn't told my nan and granddad yet. They might kick up a bit of a fuss. She just thought you'd go blabbing off to everyone about it, so she made me swear. No offence. I can keep secrets. I can. I know you can. And I beg to change her mind. Leave me behind. I said I'd miss you too much. And what did she say? She just laughed. Right, listen everybody, listen. Uh, this year's Christmas project is about celebrities. So I want you all to come in on the last day of term dressed as your favourite celebrity. Who are we going to be? I don't want to be anyone. It's not my fault she made me a partner. Brenda, why are mums and dads always allowed to tell you what to do and boss you about and tell you where you've got to live? Why aren't children ever counted as people? Wait till you get to my age, sweetheart. Old guys aren't counted as people either. But we do tend to get the comfy chair. had Auntie Karen on the phone. And apparently her and Alice are moving to Scotland. <sighs> Did you know about this? stupid. <laughs> well, it's not the end of the world. By the way, you've got a visitor. Alice! <sighs> what is it? Cake? I know, but why? I didn't want to come here, but my gran said we had to iron out our differences. <sighs> Alice is moving to Scotland. Really? You're dead sad. Sometimes I get dead sad. You know, I think about my mum and... When you think about it... My grand does loads for me, and nobody else's grand does loads for them, so... Scotland, though, eh? Hmm, that's uh, really, uh... far away. Gemma? 
put a brush through your hair. Auntie Karen's going to pop round on her way home from work. With Alice? Yep. I think so. <laughs> That's Ferguson Leisure Wear. <gasps> oh, he's gorgeous, Karen. Hands off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Ferguson Suit. <gasps> oh, he's so rugged. Isn't he rugged, Alice? When my Jeff left Liz, well, you know I was distraught. Never thought I'd be happy again, ever. Mm. And then I met Fergus. He shone a light into my murky tunnels, Liz. I could weep. <laughs> and has he got a Scottish accent? Yes, but it's not common. He's very erudite. Is that where he comes from? <laughs> <gasps> we gel on a lot of levels, Liz. I think it's because we took time to get to know each other over the internet. Mm -hmm. And then meeting him. Well. So where are you going to live? Well, he's found this incredible house with the most enormous garden. Oh, property's so much cheaper up there. Though, of course, Fergus is pretty well off. Made his money in sewage. It's just the perfect place to bring up Alice. The countryside's so beautiful there. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a wrench. I quite like some of the girls at work. And of course, I'll miss all this. Oh, well, we're going to miss you too. <laughs> but it's the girls I feel sorry for, though. Oh, kids bounce back, Liz. Yeah, but they're going to really miss each other. Still. Wait till you see the house, Alice. Oh, Alice, please. You know you're over the moon about moving. You'll have your own big bedroom with a special window seat. And what about that pony? Can I come and stay? Gemma. Uh, of course you can, darling. That would be... When? Uh, Gemma, excuse me, where are your manners? Well, maybe in the summer holidays. But that's yonks away. Oh, Liz, I feel so blessed. Like all my Christmases have come at once. I never thought I'd find true love again after Jeff went up with the gas man. Alice. Sorry. And here I am on the verge of a new life. New start. Everything new. New man, new house, new me. <laughs> <gasps> We're not taking her! an ensuite. Do you, Liz? It's all your fault! Gemma, can you be quiet? No, I won't be quiet. I hate you, Auntie Karen. You're taking my best friend away from me and you don't even care! Gemma, sit down this instant. No, shut up! I'm sick and tired of you lot thinking it doesn't mean anything, because it does! If you really cared about Alice, Auntie Karen, you wouldn't be taking her away. Anybody can see she's fed up. You just taken it away and making it even more sad. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, the world doesn't revolve around Alice or you, darling. I'm not your darling. Gina! Come on here. Upstairs. Don't let go of me, you stupid owl!
get the tray. <laughs> but it takes ages and it costs loads. More than 16 quid. That's how much I've saved. That's 48 quid. And that's a super saver price. Houston, we have a problem. We certainly do. Who's Houston? Don't know. So like my granddad said when things go wrong. All right. Come on. We're just going to have to stop you going. But how? We're having a leaving party and everything, so who cares? Home, James. Who's James? <laughs> <laughs> Speed bunny boat like a bird on the wing on with the sailors cry. This will sort out. Dear Fergus, Karen here, darling. There is no other way for me to say this, but I've changed my mind about moving to that Scotland. In fact, I've gone right off the idea. <laughs> Jim! I've met somebody else, and I think he's way cool. If you phone me about this, I may pretend I have no idea what you're going on about. That's because I'm a cow. With a capital C. <laughs> the problem is, Fergus, I'm a bit of a good time girl, and I've been seeing loads of blokes behind your back. Seven, in fact, so you may as well forget about me moving there. And so, Fergie Wergie, just to get this clear, that means Alice won't have to move up there either. That means Alice won't have to move up either. I never liked you in the first place. I was just after your money. And I think you look like some kind of bog monster in a kilt. Forget you ever heard of me. Yours sincerely, Karen. Kiss, 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 kiss. P.S. Sorry. P.P.S. Don't phone me about this. Ever. Well, I might just add that grammatically this letter is all over the place. Gemma. What? What have you got to say for yourself? What does grammatically mean? This is the work of a sick and twisted little mind. Karen? Yeah, Karen! Gemma. It's a good job Fergus knows my spelling second to none. If he'd have believed it, he'd have been incredibly upset. You can't mess with people's lives like this, Gemma, can you, Liz? Well, you're messing with Alice. Alice is a little girl. When she's older, she'll thank me for this. OK, so that's hard to believe now, but she will believe me. Where we're going, it's clean. And you put your washing on the line. And it doesn't get grubby. And nobody steals it. Who would want to steal your clothes? Do you know, I was just warming to the idea of letting Gemma come and stay for the whole of the summer holidays. But I don't think that's such a good idea now. I don't think Fergus would welcome you, to be frank. I'm taking Alice to Scotland, Gemma. And there's nothing that you or anybody else can do to stop me. What are we going to do with you, eh?
Someone's just popped out for some milk. Do you want to sit and wait? No! No! Jen? No! Gemma! She's caused. She was upset. She'll be even more upset if she plays up today. I want you behaving impeccably today, madam. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I want you to speak when you're spoken to, eat like a lady, and don't spill anything on your dress. Sorry, did you just say dress? Yes, she did. Oh, you look like a daffodil. Mum, tell him! What? Oh, Gemma. Oh, you look lovely. Oh. Like a girl for once. I should take a photo, shouldn't I? Where's my camera? It's a bit lumpy, isn't it? Your dress would be lumpy if you were wearing jeans and a T-shirt underneath. This is coming off the minute I get there. Smile! Gorgeous. Will you fetch my coat for me, please? It's in my bedroom. Yes, Mum. Grown-ups are weird. They're always giving up things. Like my mum and smoking. And my dad, when he gave up his job, he just gave up. Are you not going to come tonight? Mum's made me wear this thing. Oh, look on me. Two scabs. I'm sure she's just done it for a punishment or something, for all the things I've done. I mean, everybody else is going to be wearing jeans and stuff. Still, if I argue, she won't let me go. Look, Dad, I know how you feel. I mean, I just want to lie there doing nothing. But it's the last day I'm ever going to see Alice. And so I've got to make the most of it. Stuff to be thrown in the dump. She 
does have a point, you know. Scalped all your Barbies and chucked your teddies down the loo. <laughs> Who am I going to talk to in Scotland? You can always talk to me. Find us. Not if we went in disguise, they would. Yeah! Disguise. Yeah! Oh, yes! We'd be together forever! Yeah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 